Hey everyone, just coming back for another devotion. I know I usually do too, but this devotion was laid on my heart to read. It's called Let Your Tears Flow. And the scripture lesson text comes from Nehemiah 1 verse 4. As soon as I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days and continued fasting and praying before God of heaven. And the devotion reads as this. Nehemiah was not afraid of emotions or reluctant to show. Notice that he wept and mourned. Some people refuse to exhibit any kind of outward emotion, which is not healthy. Pent up feelings are harmful and need to be released. If we don't release our emotions at appropriate times, as Nehemiah did when he heard the walls of Jerusalem had been destroyed, our emotions will eat away at us on the inside. Stuffing or suppressing our feelings can also cause physical problems such as sleep troubles, digestive issues. Perhaps have you heard of people who went to the doctors because they felt so bad and were convinced something was wrong with them? Once they went through all kinds of medical tests, the doctors found nothing and simply said their symptoms were related to anxiety. Our emotions will always manifest in some way. So it's best for us to deal with them before they deal with us. God created us with tear glands and the ability to cry, which must mean there will be times in life when we feel like Nehemiah needs to weep. The Old Testament woman Hannah wept and even stopped eating because she had a broken heart over a child, over not having a child. And that's in 1 Samuel 1 verse 7. When David and the men with him discovered that Amalekites had burned the city of Zingland, and taking everyone in captive, they raised their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. First Samuel 30 and 4. David also wept when his son became deathly ill. And that's in 2 Samuel 12, 21 and 22. Even Jesus wept over the death of his friend Lazarus. And that was in John eleven thirty five. 35. Tears are certainly part of the process of healing in our soul. God speaks through the prophet Jeremiah. Pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord. Lamentations 2 and 19. This assures us that God wants us to bring our pain to him. We can tell him everything about it, holding nothing back. He knows it all anyway, but getting it out in the open is very helpful to us. Though it is important to express our deep feelings through tears at times, God did not create us to remain in a season of weeping indefinitely. There is a time to weep and a time to laugh. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 4. God's word promised us that weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Psalms 30 and verse 5. No matter what you are going through right now, ask God to help you deal with it in a healthy way. Cry when you need to, but always remember that the season of sadness will come to an end. As you walk with God, he will lead you into great joy. I express my emotions in healthy ways. Knowing that sadness will ultimately lead to joy. And again, it's called, let your tears flow. Let them flow. You know, at one point lately in my life, I was having chest pains. And sometimes my chest pains would be real unbearable. It was unbearable. So I started seeing the heart doctor like around June of this year. They couldn't find anything. They couldn't find nothing. They did several EKGs and my regular doctor did an EKG and she couldn't find anything. 
But everybody could just say your stress and your anxiety level is all over the place. And mind you, I've been stressed since February. It got worse in April. And then when my son started going to school, it got worse. But what I did was I prayed. I prayed. I pushed. I fast. And I prayed. But then my sister came along and prophesied unto me. And now I have no chest pain. And my shoulders are light. Because God took the burden away. So let your tears flow. And when you feel like the anxiety is coming over you. Pray. Read your word. Meditate. Speak life into yourself. And so like I said, this um, devotion, it was on my heart yesterday to read because I can relate. And man, woman, boy, or girl, whoever come past this video, whatever you're going through, God already knows. He just wants to hear from you. So speak life over yourself. And let God know what you're going through. But let your tears flow. And when the doctor says one thing, God says something else. You know, I asked God for peace. And it just seemed like it wasn't coming. I asked God for joy. And it just seemed like it wasn't coming. But now that I let my tears flow. And, you know... I gave everything over to God. I feel so much better. So release and let it go. I did a video on that earlier in the year. Release and let it go. But let your tears flow. Because God knows every tear that falls down. He knows every tear that's on that pillowcase. He hears every prayer. So, man, woman, boy, or girl, you're not alone. You're not alone. And speak life over you. Don't let the enemy try to come and say one thing. But just remember what God says about you. But let your tears flow. So I pray this help you in any way possible. Because it helped me. And I'm thankful for God. For all that he has done. And that's one reason why I had stopped doing videos because I was so down and I was going through but now I'm here ready so right now I'm just doing devotions I haven't done any um, Bible scriptures like I did at first but I just wanted to come and just share this one devotion so I'll see y'all later um, I probably come doing Bible study tonight and um, do the other devotional do it before Bible study tonight. So, yeah, I pray this devotion help you. I pray that every devotion helps you. So, um, stay encouraged. Be blessed. As always, please encourage someone because we don't know what they are going through. Just like no one knew what I was going through. Not unless I opened my mouth. But encourage someone on today. Because there are people that does not hear the word. I love you. And there are a lot of people that are going through. And this time of season, some people are committing suicide. And some people just are giving up. So you don't know what any person is going through. So be blessed. Have a good one. And we'll talk soon. Bye.